Hello all, it's Jarrett from TheTouringCamper.com and today I'm here I'm going to talk about a very big safety issue, one that I have battled for many years, Tone, with a big van like this. Um, we have a 2010 GMC Savannah and the mirrors on a stock Savannah just aren't adequate for towing when you're towing a camper of our size. Um, I've looked for a lot of different products. I have towed with these um, mirrors for about five, or five years now, I would say. Uh, they've worked well, but I've never been thrilled especially with the passenger side. The driver's side, I was okay to see okay around the van, but on the passenger side, it was a very, very big challenge. So, I came to know about these. These are universal bar towing kits. Um, I got them from eTrailer.com. They're part number 11980. And uh, I'm gonna install these today, and I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures and try to do some video to show you the difference between stock, this version, so I got that upside down, and this version. Right away, you can see where they attach. We're definitely going to be sticking out further by at least a good six inches. So I'm going to give this a go, and we'll see how it looks. So hope you enjoy as you see how I install some different tow mirrors. Thanks for watching. And we're back, and I hope you like that time lapse of me putting this on there. So what I did is I went ahead and put the old extra towing mirror on, and I just wanted to show you the significant difference. And I hope you saw on that time lapse, I can install this lots of different ways, but I can already tell you there is definitely going to be more visibility behind the camper. Let me go ahead and get in and see if you can see what I have for my driver's seat. So I pulled the camera pretty much up where my head is, and you can see that new tow mirror gives me significant more viewing. I can actually almost see around the slide out, which is currently out because we're starting to get loaded up for a trip. So uh, I'll put it on a time lapse from another angle and show you the other side. And then that's the side I'm really interested to see how well we can see around the camper. So stay tuned. <laughs> So I got the passenger one on and it's installed and I also put the old one on there as well. And as you can see, I'm trying to hold this right about where my head is when I'm looking that direction. With the stock mirror, the top stock mirror, all I see is the front of a camper. The bottom mirror, I do get a nice passing lane view. With that old extension mirror, I could see a little bit down the side of the camper and if I really torqued my head, I might be able to see behind me. But one of my main concerns is I could never see my tires or at least the area of the tires to see if there was a problem while I was going down the road. Now you see the new extension mirror on there. I can clearly see all the way down the side of my camper and I even have some view of my tire. It's not a perfect view, but I do have a little bit of a view of the tire. Let me zoom, see if I can zoom in so you can see this a little bit. So that's looking at those mirrors from right where I'm trying to sit, right about where my head is. So I am very excited to see how these work. Uh, on the next trip, hopefully they hold in place as we're going down the road because they are sticking out there a good bit. Uh, but we'll give it a try. We'll see how it goes. I hope you enjoyed this quick review as I was putting on these uh, towing mirror bars. And I got them from E-Trailer and they're part number 11980. And I'll put all that in the post. At the bottom of this YouTube video, make sure you click the link to the full post to thetouringcamper.com to read all about these mirrors. Thanks for watching.